there was a person in an all black motorcycle leathers with a full faced black helmet and a sawn off shotgun in the carriage. I hopped out to uh, clear the rocks. That's when I noticed there was a chain around the line with a lock on it. Beautiful little packet of cash, about 80,000 in today's money. I reckon it was an inside job. Hurdles of people in Cairns alone knew that this operation went on every fortnight. It's the morning of December 6th, 1973. An 1800 class rail motor is departing Cairns bound for the Tablelands, carrying about $7,300 in cash pay packets for rail staff. Passengers don't know it yet, but they're about to be witness to a daring daylight train robbery that remains unsolved 50 years on. Jo Brown was a teenager in 1973, on her way to Karanda on the day. We were all 16 years of age. So we'd heard it was beautiful at Karanda and we thought that's where we'll go. Jo shouldn't have even been on the train that day. She and her friends had missed the passenger train to Karanda. Someone approached us and said there is one more train coming. I'm pretty sure they called it a goods train and it has one carriage on it and there are seats available. In the misty heights of the Karanda range, the driver was forced to bring the train to a halt. Well, initially when it stopped, we just thought, well, trains do stop. I don't think we even thought about it. Oh, the train's just stopped for a minute, it'll get going again. But then, of course, it didn't. Clive Abdi was the guard on the rail motor that day. I walked into the uh, driver's compartment um, to make sure that the driver had seen the rocks. I hopped out to uh, clear the rocks. That's when I noticed there was a chain around the line with a lock on it. There was a person in an all-black motorcycle leathers with a full-faced black helmet and a sawn-off shotgun in the carriage. The papers reported the gunman firing shots. A round was fired out of that shotgun, which soon clarified that it was not a prank. The bandits are believed to have escaped on trail bikes with the payroll worth about $80,000 in today's money. When I heard the first shot and saw the pay box uh, tumble out, I thought that they had shot the payers. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most isolated parts of the Coranda Range Railway. Um, it's in a perfect place for a heist to give yourself time to get away. Once the driver, Ron Barter, was finally brave enough to leave the train, he had to walk about three kilometres along the track to Stony Creek Station to raise the alarm using the railway's internal telephone system. It gave the bandits around about an hour and a half to escape. Queensland Rail employees, drivers, everyone else can, who had any knowledge were all very much grilled by police for weeks on end uh, to try and break who may have had the inside knowledge and passed it on. I reckon it was an inside job. Hurdles of people in Cairns alone knew that this operation went on every fortnight. 